New at 5, Jenks Public Schools hosting a multi-jurisdictional exercise today, practicing the response during a bus rollover accident. Multiple law enforcement agencies, fire departments, and EMSA took part in the practice. Two News photographer Avery Fullerton gives us an up-close look. The beauty of the incident management system and, and IMT and how we do things, it translates to every scenario. It doesn't matter what it is. It's about first responders coming together to solve the problem. Yeah, I got yeah, let's go get your way. You name the tragedy, and it, this applies. The process that we're using here applies to every single thing we do, regardless of the scale. We want to do everything we can to, to practice for events like these, to make sure that we're sharpened and we're ready. And, and really what it is, is it's a test of our processes. It's not necessarily a test of our people. The things that we have in place to, to mitigate these scenarios, to, to get communication out, uh, to make sure that our, our students are, are safe above all else. We tend to think we're very comfortable in the environments in which we work in. So you try to change that a little bit to see if you can el uh, elicit a different response to get them to think kind of outside the box. Doing it here in this environment, when we do have a real world problem, we're ready for it, or as ready as we can be. For us as a school district to exist in, the, in this community, to have really strong partnerships with Tulsa Police, Jinx Police, our fire departments, our EMSA, all of those first responding agencies, to be able to call on them at a moment's notice and, and know that we're on the same side and same team, that's really valuable. That was photojournalist Avery Fulton.